So he's going for custody. He told us last night. He's wasting his time, isn't he? I mean, look what happened to me and Chloe. No offence, Martin, but it's hardly the same situation, is it? What's the name of the bloke you used? The lawyer. Oh, I can't remember. You're going to have to ask Mum. She's going to blow a stack when she hears about this. Oh, last. I knew what could do it. Come on. Mum? Coming. Oh, what's wrong? We were wondering about... About the lawyer you used for Martin and Chloe. Whether you've still got a number for him. What, you've heard from Phil already? He told us last night. I don't know if he does access cases. Still, it can't be any different from custody. I mean, residence, can it? It is a residence case. There you are. Didn't I tell you there'd be trouble? I bet you Peggy's behind this. Well, that Phil Mitchell, he doesn't stand a chance. I should know after what I went through with Martin. Martin was still at school, Mum. How do you mean? Well, he's got a job. His own place, an income. Look, it doesn't matter if Phil Mitchell's a millionaire. Fathers have no rights, not in this country anyway, as long as the mother is in a nice, stable relationship. What if he gets back with Sharon now? Well, you've got no worries there, love. No, you're home and dry. So what are you saying? We're wasting our time? No, of course not. Only that your chances are slim for sole custody. Well, Mark's HIV positive. What if we can prove he's a danger to the baby? I don't think we really want to go down that road, do we? Well, I'll go down any road as long as we get where we want to be, eh, Phil? What do you think? It was inadvisable. If we go in arguing on the grounds of who's the more fit to look after the child, how can I put it, some of the more colourful chapters of your past life might be brought to the fore. Right. What if we go just for access? Are we going to have the same problem? Oh, access? No way. Forget it. Well, sounds like we might not have much choice. Well, I won't have any choice at all if Lisa decides to leave the country, will I? I've had that with Ben. Uh, things have got slightly better for the father since then, Phil. It's definitely worth pursuing. Really? I'll put something down on paper. Detail all your options. Thanks. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm due in court. I'll see myself out. Don't give up hope, love. Let's see what he comes up just, with. Just let it go, Mum, will you? All right? right, well, while you sit there and mope, I'm going to go and see Lisa. For? To make a time to see Louise. Well, I'll go. Oh, no, if Mark's there, you don't stand a chance. Oh, and you will, won't you? After your bum fight with Paulie the other night. Someone to see you. Hello, Mark. What do you want? Well, firstly to say, uh, sorry, you know, about the other night. Which bit, exactly? Well, I had too much to drink. In fact, I reckon we all did. Can't we just... Sorry, not interested. Next. Right. Well, Phil would like to see Louise. Oh. When? Today. This afternoon. What do you say, Mark? On his own? Forget it. Well, it is his daughter. Not according to the birth certificate, she ain't. That's not worth the paper it's written on, and you know that. Mark, what if Phil came here? Sorry? To see Louise. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad, would it, if we were both here? Oh, please. Half an hour and she don't leave the house. Tell him uh, to come round later, say half three. Thanks. But I'm warning you, Peggy. He causes a scene, or so much as raises his voice, that's it, he's out the door. Right. Oh, I think she's angry. And I don't want you provoking him either. What did you think you were doing? If we let him see her now, give him casual access or whatever it's called, then maybe he'll calm down, Mark. Maybe he'll drop this custody thing. <sighs> Mum, how'd it go? Hello, Vic. All right. You can see her at tea time. Well, it's a start, I suppose. Was Mark all right? Yeah, fine. They're going to bring her over here, are they? No. They want you to go over there. And you said yes? Well, if you'd have gone there, you wouldn't be seeing her at all. And you've got to be on your best behaviour, or you're out. And that's from Lisa. No, don't worry, I'll be good. Phil! The answer's no. But you don't know what I'm going to ask you. Yes, I do. Here. What's that? I stopped off at a legal place on the high street. Hey, Mick, hang on a sec, will you? Put that in the window of the cafe for us. How's the job hunting going? Nothing. But I'm really sorry. Do you reckon Jim won't mind if I stay a few more days? Of course you won't. Look, do you think we should pop over the Vic? Collect some of your clothes and stuff? If Phil ain't been then. Well, why don't you talk to him, Joe? You know, explain to him what really happened. He might have calmed down by now. Yeah, right. Look, once he realises it was Sharon and not just Lisa, it was... No way. Why not? Phil won't want to hear it. Not from me, anyway. Oh, no. We mustn't upset Phil, must we? After everything he's done for you, you know. Kicked you out, beat you up, taking your job away. Won't make a difference. 
You know what he's like. Once the shutters are down, that's it. So what have you got to lose? Phil. Yes. How do you feel about being my best man? Me? Well, thanks, Grandad. Well, don't go raving mad, will you? No, no, I mean, it's brilliant, but, you know, I've got to do a speech and everything. Well, Sonia will help you with all that, won't you, dear? Yeah, of course I will. Thank you, Grandma. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Y